Now on your home for minor league baseball. MLB The Show has coverage from the AAA Pacific Coast League. Tonight, the second of four to begin the week between the Oklahoma City Dodgers and the Iowa Cubs. The Dodgers enter today's matchup with an 11-game winning streak on the line. They'll try to notch their 12th straight. Next, Tommy Malone, the southpaw out of the Golden State, gets the call here. What's your take on him, Dan? This guy's kind of hard to figure out. You think most pitchers would love pitching in their home ballpark, but he struggled at home so far this season. There hasn't been a lot of home cooking for this guy, and that's something he needs to turn around and turn around in a big way. Stepping into the box, Les Prado, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Here comes the first pitch. That's popped up. Gold has room in foul territory. But this will land untouched. The wind up and the 0 1. Left side. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Well, as we take another look at it, you can see that this thing kind of handcuffed him and he couldn't make the play. Comes off the heel of the glove, and the leadoff man is aboard. Runner at first following the error. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Manny Fernandez. First pitch of the at-bat. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. Fellas are home nine as they begin play here this evening. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. What an opportunity. A leap here, but it ticks off his glove. Throw on to second, so they'll get the lead man, and that's all. So a runner at first with one man gone, and in to hit next, it'll be the ever versatile Chris Taylor. From the stretch. Pitch out. Nothing doing. The 1 0 home. Liner towards second. But well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Batting four. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. Mark DeRosa, tell us about this lineup and how they continue the winning streak. Yeah, Matty, you take a look at this lineup. The one thing that jumps out is the fact that they are last in stolen bases. They are station to station trying to hit the ball out of the ballpark, trying to get in good counts and drive the baseball out of the yard to create their runs. Into the box now, Buddy McGee. Strike one to start the at-bat. Hit on the ground to third. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So no runs on no hits. One error in the inning, but a man left stranded. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Douglas McCarthy will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, it's not easy to bunch anything together against this guy. In his last three starts, he has a whip of under 1.10. So we may see some hit and run. We may see some bunting. And we may see some running. Because if you want to lay around and try to get hits off this guy, that's not the right thing to do. One of the top pitchers in the game right now. Into the box now, Terrell Pace. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Well, you take a look at our visiting club as they take the field tonight. All you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Matty, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. 
That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Pace hits right-handed pitching very well. Makes a lot of contact, but he generally isn't known for displaying a lot of power. We'll see a lot of line drives and ground balls from him in these situations. Yeah, I almost think he has too good of hand-eye coordination, Matty. Sometimes maybe just attacks that pitch that's not there to do major damage with, but could just drive it up the middle the other way and take his knock, and that's what he's been able to do. At the plate, D.J. Coburn popped him up. Cuthbert in foul ground. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. He'll come in here at 263. One home run and six RBIs. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. No ball, two strikes. Bases are empty, one man out. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Hopped up. McCarthy is there. Two down. That is third. The third baseman. A chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. Dero, what's the key in trying to stop their opponent's winning streak? Yeah, Matty, this team has been putting up a lot of runs lately from top to bottom, just swinging the bat super nice, past the baton mentality. Guys not trying to do too much, trusting in the teammates behind them. Standing in now, Rex Delgado. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Two out, nobody on. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. And another foul ball. Ready with another 0-2. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. We've played an inning. Still nothing, nothing. Coming in for his first at-bat, Kike Hernandez. And he's been swinging it well the last couple of games. Kike Hernandez. Now here it comes. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out their half of the second inning. Hey, there's a base hit right there on a changeup. Maybe not a good idea to throw this guy back-to-back -back changeups. Yeah, he seemed to be timing that first one. He let the first one go by, Dan. He was not going to let the second one go by. Nice job right there staying through that baseball. Into the box, Dominic Rosario. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Line towards center field. Almora's got it, and there is one away. Time for a look at the defensive alignment for the home team. And guys, taking a look at this, this defense is going to have to be stout today. Starting pitcher with an ERA north of five usually spells some barrels being found by the opposition. So these guys better be on their toes in this one. To the plate now, Chris Kavanaugh, and he puts it on the ground to second. To second for one, on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning.
At the plate, Raymond Kang. He was hitless in the shutout last night. Raymond Kang. First delivery to him on the way. Swung on and missed its 0-1. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. That Digging in Jason Gold. He'll get to take his first Jason. cuts here. Gold. And the pitch. Yeah. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. Hit to first. Scooped up. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Batting good. So striding forward now, Albert Almora hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. Here comes the first pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Hernandez is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Here now is Chesler Cuthbert. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Kepler. Kepler. Pitch on the way. Hit back up the middle. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Batting up. The pitcher. Douglas. McCarthy. At the plate now, Douglas McCarthy. He swings and grounds it to short. One there on to first, so they let the pitcher swing away here, and it turns into a double play. The batter number seven, second base. What? What a... So base is empty now after the double play, and set to go is the second baseman, Les Prado. First offering on its way. In there at the letters 0 and 1. Line toward the gap in left center, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Pitcher went to the well one too many times. Back to back fastballs. Hitter was able to keep his hands through, deliver a nice line drive. Into the box now, Manny Fernandez. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. So far this year against Southpaws, Fernandez is exactly a 400 hitter. 
Yeah, this is a great spot for him right now. He just seems to have been picking up left-handed pitching great all season long. Throw to second for the fourth out, and the side is retired. So no runs here on two base hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Now at the plate, Alex Castro, 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Here's the first pitch to him. And that swung on and missed for strike one. When the pitcher on the mound's establishing this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. Hey. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. Here's a fastball on 0-2, but it misses 1-2 and two now. Jeez, finally. That's the first ball they've taken all night. Do it again, I dare you. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. So definite problems on that last play, and they'll hit the first baseman for the error. Rob Hirad. So coming to the plate, Vernon Ramirez, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Popped him up. Prado will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. So here now is the pitcher, Tommy Malone. He could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. And they'll put the tag on him going to first, but the sacrifice is successful. Sacrifice was in order right there as he gets the bunt down right there. And sometimes it's easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. Play Terrell Pace. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. So it's no runs on no hits. One error and a runner left stranded. Three innings complete, and we are tied nothing nothing. All set for the start of the fourth. And in to hit next, it'll be the ever-versatile Chris Taylor. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some. Taylor swings and a ball hit well to left. Meanwhile now, this ball's trouble as it looks like it'll be good for extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. He just tattoos this ball right here. Tried to sneak a fastball in on him? No way. Drives it to deep left center field gap, and that was a nice job to get the barrel around in time to score that baby up. Stepping in now, Buddy McGee. Line drive to center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. As we take a look at the replay here, you can see that it was a hanging changeup. Nice job of staying back on it, and he's able to tattoo it for a double. And you know, if that pitch would have supplied more velocity, it might have been out of here. He hit it right on the screws. He 
In now, Kike Hernandez. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And not in time as the run scores. Well, that wasn't your standard sack by hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to send him. But they did, and they add a number to the run column. So digging in now, Dominic Rosario. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Heading out towards shallow right. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Ready now, Chris Kavanaugh. Chris Kavanaugh. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Lofted in the air out toward right center, giving chase his Elmora. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now battle. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. At the plate, Chesler Cuthbert, as he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Kavanaugh stands at second with two gone. Hit out towards second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. The throw home. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. And he's safe. That was a well-executed pitch right there. Change up, down and away. But he just got beat with it. Nice job to flip it the other way into the outfield for an opposite field base hit. To the plate now, Douglas McCarthy, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the 0 1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. Dodgers lead this one three to nothing. Leading off the inning, D.J. Coburn, as they'll look to get no something field. going here and even this DJ. game up. Hey, we're still in the Coburn. early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First offering on its way. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Called strike 0 and 2. You know, it's great to be patient, make a pitcher work and all that stuff to try to get walks, but you have to be ready to hit. And that was a really hittable pitch, and now you've got to deal with an 0-2 count. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he couldn't get on top of it as this has popped up behind shortstop. Fernandez backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first down. Now batted. Into the box now, Rex Delgado. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch of the at bat. Drilled right back up the middle. Base hit, and they're into the hit column. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove now on it. Hard it. single Catcher. up the middle. Yeah, watch right your lips right there, Dan. Yeah. Sent it back right where it came from. Yeah. 
So now to the plate, Raymond Kang reined in. To second for one, relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. We played four full. The Dodgers lead it three to nothing. Ready once again, Les Prado. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. First pitch on its way. A bouncer to the left side, fielded cleanly. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The now to the plate, Manny Fernandez. Manny Fernandez. Here's the first pitch to him. Line drive to center field. Almora is there, two gone. The center fielder, number three, Chris. Taylor digging in once again Chris Taylor he came across to score after doubling in his last at bat well he got a good pitch to hit last time up looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it those are the pitches you only get maybe once in a B maybe once a game maybe once a week so he certainly capitalized on it last time kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there Dan was going to have a one two three inning but not the case giving up that late two out knock Boy, this lineup is so deep one through nine they could put a hurting on you and they're making him work and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one so far this has not been an easy one for this pitcher first pitch of the at bat on its way this is line to left and that'll get down out there for extra bases. The relay, but he'll be in there with a double. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it, bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. At the plate now, Kike Hernandez as he lifts it in the air to right field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Jason Gold. Jason Gold. Now the pitch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. the other way down the left field line left fielder giving chase and no one will track it down Here comes the nothing and two pitch. 
pops this one up. Cuthbert in foul ground, but this will land untouched. To third, Cuthbert fields it cleanly. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. So you can mark that one down as an E5, and I bet he'd like to have that one over. Now in the box, Albert Almora. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far on this one. And there was another good fastball for a strike out there. Stepping in now, Alex Castro, as he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. He comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. Lifted down the line in left. Left fielder coming on, and that's in there. Base hit. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Now's a good time for your pitcher to take no, a deep breath. He still has the lead, no, no. although it probably doesn't We're feel there. like it. So he can't no, worry about how he got into this mess. He just has to figure out how to get out of this mess. Into the box, Vernon Ramirez. He swings and grounds it to short. Scooped up. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Everett Goddard will look to provide a little two out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with the runner at second and two away. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And this is going to find some real estate out there as he comes through off the bench with extra bases. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's now a three to two contest. And he's going to make it easily. It's a stand-up triple. The right field. In now, Terrell Case as the fastball is swung on and missed. Good location down at the knees for strike one. No hits to this point. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Grounded up the first baseline. And this will be a base hit as the runner will come in to score from third. And we are tied at three apiece. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So they pick up three runs on three hits, one error in the inning, and one man left on. We're through five here at the ballpark, and we are all tied at three apiece. Buck Shed takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 18, Buck Shed. Into the box, Dominic Rosario. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First pitch coming, here it is. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. 
that's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Grounder down the line at third. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Right Three. down Main Street caught him looking. The white fielder, number 10. Striding in once Chris. again, Chris Cavanaugh. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Now batting. Now Four batting, three. Chesler Cuthbert. Chesler. Two hits and two Cuthbert. trips for him thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. The wind-up and the 0-1. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. Reined in. Throw to first in plenty of time, and his side is retired. Ready for another shot now. Rex Delgado. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. First pitch of the at bat. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Pitch on the way. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. 0-2 count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. Ground ball left side. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Dan, this guy's on fire. I used to say all the time it's about 150 about. ABs to 200 okay. ABs when you start figuring out what type of season you're going to have. He's obviously in May, and he's on fire. d -Road, he's been locked in from day one of this season. It's continuing right now. Anything that is around the strike zone, he feels he can get the barrel to it, and he continues to hit line drives. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Delgado rounds third and is digging for the plate. And the runner from first comes around to score. Well, this is a lesson for all those pitchers out there. When you allow the leadoff man on base, it always comes back to haunt you. With no outs, I thought they might hold the runner at third, but they send him anyway, and the run scores. Coming to the plate now, Albert Almora. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First pitch on its way. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. But this will land untouched. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Chasing after it is Taylor. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. The batter, number three. Riding in, Alex Castro. He doubled Alex. earlier in the game, Not one for throw. two to this point. Fastball in there for a cold oh, strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Grounded back up the middle. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. The pitcher spotted his pitch no, down in the zone pitch. right there, below the knee. No, no, no. Offensive player was all over it. Ramirez. To the plate now, Vernon Ramirez lifted down the line in left. Hernandez is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Seventh inning coming up. The I Cubs are out in front, five to three. Greg Castaneda is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. 
Casaneda. This is line to left. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first down. Jumped all okay. over that first pitch the of the inning, pitch. and he didn't miss what? it. Just wasn't able oh, to no. steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. So the lineup flips over and digging in less Prado. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a liner. But unfortunately, right at the shortstop for the second out. So stepping in, Manny Fernandez. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning one, two, three, and start fresh next inning with the middle of the order. Two out, nobody on. Line drive to left. Coburn is there, and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. Iowa leads it 5-3. to three. Mel Gonzalez is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Number seven. Cody Anderson gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 56, Cody Anderson. Down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. In there, and he's in control 0 2 now. Anderson typically throws a lot of strikes coming in out of the bullpen, resulting in low walk totals, although he has been snake bitten by the home run ball at times in the past. One of the keys for this guy, Matt, is not being afraid to attack the strike zone. With that said, he is prone to giving up the home runs. I think one of the cause of that, Matty V, he leaves a lot of pitches up in the strike zone. He needs to be down in the zone when he's effective. A swing and a ground ball to third. And a low throw to first that bounces as he can't hang on. Man, you can't continue to make mistakes like this and expect to win. That's three errors so far on this one, and they keep putting themselves in bad situations. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, DJ Coburn. First pitch on its way. Pulled toward right center field. Right fielder is on the run, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. Case rounds the corner and is headed home. He'll score easily as they push their lead to three now. Hey, Dero, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. And he is in there. Wow, last night must seem like a million years ago. They couldn't get anything going, but they're lighting it up in this one. So now to the plate, Raymond Kang. 0-1 the count. From the belt, kicks and deals. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. Round ball foul down the left side. Grounded to short. Right to him. On to first, and it's dropped. Luckily for him, though, there'll be no advance.
So definite problems on that last play, and they'll hit the first baseman for the error. Digging in, Jason Gold. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hey, as a former infielder, nothing hurts your heart more than making errors behind your pitchers. Let's see if this guy can pick them up right here. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Oh, and he can't come up with it. The center fielder, number five, Albert Almora. So here's Albert Almora next as he rips it on the ground to second. He'll go to the bag for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, two costly errors, and a couple of men left. Eighth inning coming up. The I-Cubs are out in front, 7-3. to three. Vernon Blair has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number two. Ready to begin the eighth and standing in the outfielder, Chris Taylor. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Man, he's seeing it like a beach ball right now. Even his soft contact is finding holes, Dan. He's making it nearly impossible for a pitcher right now. Up, down, in and out, hard, soft. Anything you throw forward to home plate, this guy seems to somehow be able to find a hole. At the plate, Buddy McGee, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. So far, two for three in this one. And this is knocked down over there to second for one. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. Now Stepping in, Kike Hernandez. He flew out in his last at bat. Here comes the first pitch. Takes this the other way to right. Pace is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. The first paper, number Stepping into the box, Dominic, Dominic Rosario. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, he failed to pull the bat off his shoulder in that one, Matty. Down on three pitches, pretty much a wasted oh A.B. This has to be a better effort. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. A bouncer up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw on the second for the force, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Down the third baseline. Good changeup, and it's 0-2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Stepping in now, Vernon Ramirez. As he swings and misses at a first-pitch fastball, 0-1. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Out of play. Again, another foul ball. 0-2 once more. And a good two-strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0-2. And, and he struck him out as well, so the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. Mark Sagunas will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0 and 2. To first, scooped up. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. We've played eight full. Iowa leads it 7-3. to three. 
Maybe to Stavo. Chassin comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number nine, Gustavo Chassin. New inning set to get underway, and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Chris Cavanaugh. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit hard towards center. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. The ninth inning's underway with a leadoff man aboard via the single. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. At the plate now, Chesler Cuthbert as he swings and lifts it in the air out to shallow right field. Pace is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. Dan Hershiser will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 35, Dan Hershiser. Hit back up the middle. There's one. On to first, and he rolls the double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Yeah, and they end this thing with style, turning that double play to preserve the win. That's what we call finishing strong. And tonight's final, 7-3. to three. The Cubs wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Buck Shedd earns his third win of the year in relief. Douglas McCarthy pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. For the Dodgers, three runs, 11 hits, four errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 18 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.